MKM Texture Tools is to get the slip off of the surface. Really for most design things, and even just to make your bowls uh, nicer, um, getting that slip off of the exterior is a pretty nice idea. So I'm just supporting on the inside with not a pointed finger, right? Just like a flattened finger on the inside and then just using my silver rib on the outside, right? So then I get all that slip off. And what I like to do when I'm doing these texture tools is I like to really compress my rim and then tip it in a little bit. All right, so I'm pretty happy with that for a start. All right, now here's my MKM Ferny tool. Very pretty. I'm gonna get that wet and then I'm gonna dry it. You want them to be damp. You don't want them to be sopping wet and you don't want them to be dry because they'll stick too much. But at damp, they seem to work really well. You also want to clean your hands because your hands are what's going to be putting the texture on there and if they're all goobered up, you're going to get goobers all over your pots. We don't want goobery pots, right? All right. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> okay. So here's my fern tool. So these are called cylinder seals, right? We talked about that when we were working on texture with hand built, and these can be used for hand built anything as well. But I'm just going to go down. You guys might want to come to this side if you want to see it actually happening. But I'm going to just have my hands inside to support, and then I just start right at the bottom, and I just press this tool on, and it basically it holds its own, right? And then when I get to the top. I stop before I go over the rim. I just remove that tool. And look at those pretty ferns. Oh my God. Look at those gorgeous ferns. Right, so I'm pressing pretty hard. And just moving my way up. And then you can see, right, the rim kind of bubbles up. If I go over that rim, I'll tear the rim, which I don't want to do. So I stop just shy of it which is why I also compress that rim a little bit more so that I have a little bit more wiggle room. And as it squishes out, it doesn't get wrapped. Where's all the ooing and eyeing? Wow. Man. Tough Thank you. Oh, I feel so much better now. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, so there is my ferny pot. Oh my God, it's a gorgeous thing. Okay, now I'm going to, right? Because now it's like, but Al, your pot looks like crap. What were you thinking, you crazy That's woman? definitely what I thought. In <laughs> right? I mean, it does, right, but look at it. It's like kind of a mess. So this is when, right, and this is honestly, these kind of things are why I really put the, the red rib on the supply list. I mean, it's just the best tool for the job. So I'm going to just hold a finger at the rim, right? Because I don't want the rim to bubble out too much. And I'm going to go in with my red rib right in front of myself, right? And I'm just going to push out starting at the top with my red rib. And I'm holding the rim so that it doesn't just uh, widen too much. But I'm going to work from the top to the bottom. I'm going to do it again. What was that? That's <laughs> a freaking. Freaking? Are you, what? Are you freaking kidding? Is that what it was? Yeah. Oh. I I I can almost guarantee you that within two weeks you'll be doing this. Oh, well, I, yep. I'll be lucky if I'm getting it in the center in two weeks. I think you're wrong. You look at you made three bowls today. Yep. Right. You right. put both of the the two good ones in the center. No. Yes, it did. <laughs> I helped. You helped. This um, one you put in the center. This one you helped. All right, I'll take that. Okay. Um, but so now I'm I'm just like defining that rim a little bit more, just because I want it to be a little sharper. Oh yeah, that was the right call. Um, right now I like a wobbly rim on a on a piece. Um, and then we use that little skin between our ring finger and our pinky, and ta-da. Right, so that's how you use the texture tools. Now you can also use them. Um, you know, there are a number of different, a number of different uh, kind of models in the MKM bin, and these are a ton of fun for like rims. 
So like, oh, this one's already on the step, right? So like, if I want to do a, you know, kind of a Celtic knot, you know, just get that a little bit wet, roll it out. I'm not going to do it on this one, right? But right, I would just hold my hand on the inside and then let this run on the outside, and it'll just do a nice little kind of Celtic knotty thing going on there. Um, some of these are a lot of fun with the little, just the little trimmy deals. Um, little trimmy deals. God, my vocabulary is really on right now. Um, <laughs> did you guys see that one that I did with the with uh, this texture on the rim and the foot? Maybe not. Okay, I'll grab that when we're done. But, um, but yeah. The, the